Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the OneMix 1S One Yoga, which is a tiny little laptop computer, small enough to hold in your hand, has a 7-inch display, an Intel Celeron 3965Y uh, processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, and it ships with Windows 10 software, sells for under $500, around $440 as at the time that I'm shooting this video. So I've already posted a uh, preview at lilliputing.com and a first look video on YouTube. What I wanted to do in this video is take a look at what happens if you try running something other than Windows, which is the operating system it comes with. So I've got a couple of different operating systems loaded onto flash drives here, and I'll show you what it looks like if you boot them. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug one in, turn on the device, and sort of hammer the F7 key at boot. And first thing you'll notice here is we get a little boot menu that's a little hard to see because the text is very small but I'm going to scroll down until I see the one that says USB disk. And now the screen is sideways, but I'm going to go ahead and try the operating system without installing it. Uh, what I've got installed on this flash drive here is Fedora, which is a relatively popular Linux-based operating system, recent versions of which are using the Wayland display driver. And that's going to um, affect a couple of things that we'll see momentarily here. So. Um, it's a, it's a, overall, it's a pretty nice little machine. It gets around three or four hours of battery life. It's not stellar, but it has a 7-inch 1920 by 1200 pixel display. Uh, the keyboard is surprisingly pretty easy to use, at least for short periods. It's a little bit on the small side, and it's not my favorite keyboard. And I'm just sort of filling time here while we wait for the operating system to boot. Uh, some other models in the One Mix series have backlit keyboards. Uh, the One Mix 3 series has a larger screen, a larger keyboard that makes typing a little bit easier, and it's backlit. Uh, you don't necessarily get that in this model, but you do get a touchscreen display, a convertible tablet style design, and uh, overall an interesting little device. Okay, so we've almost booted here into Fedora. I'm going to say try instead of installing it. And you'll notice here that the display is sideways. Everything else seems to work pretty well here. So the touchscreen is working, the optional pen seems to work. I even actually logged on to the internet here, so let's connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, should also be able to use shortcuts for brightness. and select network. It's a little bit tough to do sideways. Type in a password. So for the most part, things seem to work. Screen rotation does sort of work, but you'll notice what happens is because the screen was sideways to start with, when I rotate it into what should be portrait mode, it automatically rotates into landscape mode. Uh, touch is still working, but I think it might be a little less precise because the orientation has thrown it. Is. All right, so the touchscreen works. Everything basically works except for screen orientation. Uh, now, if I try to go into the display settings, I can change the resolution. I can change the refresh rate. I can enable or disable uh, night light if I wanted to for the color temperature, but there's no option here to rotate the screen. And since this is Wayland as opposed to the X server, 
I can't do the thing that I would normally do in other operating systems, which is x render o right. It's not con uh, recognized. Now there might be other ways around it, but the out of the box experience is such that basically everything is sideways and there's not much you can do about it. So it's imperfect, but it's actually not a bad starting point because again, the screen, uh, the touch screen works, the pen works, even screen rotation to some degree works. I think there's probably just a little bit of uh, tweaking that needs to happen in order to make everything work the way you would expect it to here. So that is a quick look at Fedora. So let's go ahead and power that down and try something a little bit different. Interestingly, the computer seems to be, ah, oh, there we go, off, but the light was still on. All right, let's try, I think what I've got here is Ubuntu. It might be a Linux Mint. Let's find out. Yep, Ubuntu. So we're going to say, try Ubuntu without installing. Laptop weighs about 1.2 pounds, measures around uh, 0 0.6 inches thick. It's a little bit bigger than a laptop, or than a smartphone, but much, much smaller than most laptops. Something that's pretty easy to slide into your pocket and take with you. Uh, longer battery life would be nice, better performance would be nice. Uh, there is a more powerful but more expensive version called the One Mix 2 or One Mix 2S Yoga. If you're looking for a higher power processor, uh, you can find more details about those at Lilliputing.com or check out Lilliputing's YouTube channel for previous videos, taking a look at those. All right, so we've got Ubuntu. I'm gonna load a live user session here. And again, everything seems to be sideways out of the box. This time I should be able to rotate the screen though. by opening a terminal, xrandr hyphen o right. And everything is right side up, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and connect to the internet. Sirens going by. Get install GIMP. And so it's not working there. sudo apt. Get install Abbey Word. Okay, for some reason it doesn't want to install applications while I'm in the live environment here, but um, you can see that basically we've got an Ubuntu installation. We can load Firefox. We can see what other applications are here. Now, this is something that I've noticed in the past. Sometimes it can be a little bit wonky when you try to use the touch screen, but touch seems to be working. Pen seems to be working. It's a little funny with the bounciness there, but the optical touch sensor is also working. Can load different applications here. Keyboard shortcuts, I believe, are also working. And let's go back to the that's not right. Um,
one of the tricky things here is it's not super touch friendly. That was be release A, that's what I was trying to do. All right, well, audio seems to be working, so that's good. LSB, release, A, and it's Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Basically, I've loaded up a bunch of flash drives here, and I kind of forget which versions I'm using sometimes. Uh, so for the most part, things seem to work. The screen resolution is sort of set at 100% uh, scaling, and automatic screen rotation does not work. Or does it? Something funny just happened here. Oh, we've got a rotated screen. All right, it's a little bit on the slow side, but it does seem to rotate. And interestingly, rotating it seems to mess things up a little bit. X render. Oh, right. So I've rotated the screen manually here using the X, R, A, and D, R command. And if I want to rotate the screen, what happens is it seems to stay in this mode. But when I switch back to what should be landscape, now I think it's going to be in portrait again. So it's not particularly sticky in that way. Again, it's possible that some configuration tweaks might be able to change this. Uh, another thing is if you go into the display settings again here, I don't believe it offers an easy way to change the screen resolution or the uh, scaling. So if I wanted to change the resolution to something a little bit lower so that thing, text and images look larger, what would happen is, say I wanted to go to 1440 by 900, I click apply, and again, it's gonna have issues with what the screen actually looks like. So it wants to do it in portrait mode, so that's a problem. So let's revert. But uh, you can see that the pen works, so that's, that's a plus, I suppose. And now again, we're at the wrong orientation. So that's Ubuntu. Let's go ahead and power that down. Take out the flash drive. And let's try whatever's on this stick. So again, what I'm primarily looking at here is the out-of-the-box experience of a couple of different operating systems. Uh, if you install it to local storage, then it can survive a reboot. Since I'm basically running it from a flash drive, loading it into RAM, the operating system doesn't allow me to make any deep system configuration changes. So I can't really test battery life or uh, general performance properly doing this, but I wanted to just sort of take a look at what happens out-of-the-box here. So this is Linux Mint. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a terminal. Actually, let's open up the display settings. Okay, here we do seem to have the option to rotate the screen. So let's go clockwise, apply. So that's nice. We can keep this configuration. There does not seem to be an option for changing the display scaling. And again, I think what's gonna happen if I tried to choose a different resolution is that we're gonna get the screen looking like it's in portrait mode again. So that's not gonna work. So restore. So that's a little bit wonky. See if the pen works. Pen seems to be working. Seems to be relatively precise. Uh, earlier when I tried this, I noticed that the pen was sort of calibrated off. 
for the first few minutes, but it's sort of caught up after a little while. I'm not really sure what's up with that, but out of the box, the experience seems to be that, again, keyboard shortcuts are working. I can adjust screen brightness. I can adjust volume. And pen and the touchscreen are working. So that's pretty positive overall, I'd say. Uh, it's gotten a little bit dark out here because uh, we seem to have apocalyptic rain coming. So unfortunately, that's affecting the video quality since I didn't want to turn on overhead light. Um, but you can see here that uh, despite all this sound and fury signifying nothing happening outdoors, the um, device is working pretty well. Um, screen orientation changing isn't working, display scaling isn't changing, and everything else seems to be working reasonably well out of the box. Then log into Wi-Fi. And I'm going to stop this video shortly so that I can batten down the hatches. Uh, but let's just go ahead and try and open up Firefox here. Well, that is bright. Adjust the screen brightness. And it seems to have gone all the way down. So that's interesting. That's something that doesn't happen in Windows. YouTube.com. Lilliputing. All right, so we've got video, we've got audio. We've got touch screen. And we've got a little bit of screen flickering, but that's not too surprising. We go 100% brightness, it sort of disappears though. All right, so that's a quick look at Fedora, Ubuntu, and Linux Mint. Uh, there are other operating systems I can try. I did take a Chromium OS build for a spin earlier. Uh, basically, it's sort of similar in, in terms of something. Almost everything works, but not necessarily everything perfectly. Um, so that is a look at a couple of different options for running Linux on the most affordable version of the OneMix, uh, the new OneMix 1S One Yoga, which replaces the original OneMix Yoga with an Atom processor with this new model with a Celeron. 3965Y CPU. It's uh, a big upgrade over the original, but it's not nearly as powerful as versions with Core M3 processors that you would find elsewhere. So uh, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the OneMix 1S Yoga running Linux. Check out lilliputing.com for more details about this little laptop and others.